Hey guys, today in Man Tools, we are going to finally talk about the new Milwaukee lawnmower. I wanted to wait to do this video because I wanted to see this actually in action and see what people thought of it and see what it actually does. So I thought it was time to do a video on the price. All right, so when it comes to this lawnmower, it is $1,000 for the, for the kit. I just want to point out just because it has a Milwaukee name on it doesn't mean that it's not going to break on you. I rarely use this hammer drill. This was only in an X amount of videos and it doesn't work. It does not work. Speed one, different clutch settings. Let's put this in hammer drill mode. Doesn't work, drill mode, speed two. It's broken just because it says Milwaukee doesn't mean it's not going to break on you. Warranty. So if this lawnmower breaks on you, your expensive lawnmower is no longer being used until you get it back. In the kit, you get the lawnmower, you get two 12 amp hour batteries and a dual simultaneous charger. All right, so that does mean that the, this charger charges two batteries at once. So let's calculate really quick at how many batteries and chargers you need to actually keep this thing running on a professional landscaping level. This 12 amp hour battery is $250. This dual char, if you buy it separately, the dual charger is $120. Let's say you start the day with six fully charged 12 amp hour batteries. I do not know if you could run eight amp hours or less high output or high demand, high output. I do not know. I didn't see it. someone test that. If you just put a regular five, five amp hour HC battery in there, I do not know if it'll run. You know, the website says it requires two batteries and it shows this one. You're a professional landscaper and you go to a first shop site. All right, you have three sets of batteries. So that means you have six 12 amp hour batteries. You put the first two batteries in your lawnmower. 60 minutes, those batteries are drained, dead. They need to be on charge. You put the two batteries on charge, it takes an hour and a half to charge, and you put the second set of batteries in your lawnmower, and that takes 60 minutes to deplete both batteries. So that means you have 30 minutes waiting time before your first set is charged. You require a third set while you wait for that 30 minutes. All right, so you, put the, you take the second set out, put them down, you put the third set in your lawnmower, then you let that run for 30 minutes, then that means that the first set of batteries that you put on charge are charged up. So that means you have 30 minutes remaining here and you have another set of batteries waiting. So this can get really confusing and as you can see, you need a lot of 12 amp hour batteries to keep this thing running. And that is completely stressing the batteries out all day long. You put them on a rapid charger, you use them in a high demand tool to where two 12 amp hour batteries only last an hour. And keep in mind, this is assuming there is zero cooling time. This is assuming after the two 12 amp hour batteries are depleted, you can put them on charge immediately. My Ryobi 40 volt lawnmower, uh, once this battery is depleted, this battery gets hot and I cannot put it on charge until the battery is to a certain temperature. Let's assume that you don't have to do that with these, that these are straight to go on the charger immediately after you take it out of the lawnmower. All right, so and this is also assuming that you could charge on site all day, wherever you're at. So six batteries is the minimum you could use if you actually use this lawnmower all day. Now, it is probably recommended to have eight. Now let's do a calculation on how much these batteries and chargers cost. And remember, if you, the more chargers you have, the less wait time you have. Each of these chargers is $120. So you probably need a charger. This, you probably need this dual charger per two batteries. So you're not waiting for anything. This is assuming that you have one lawnmower. Remember, you get two batteries with this kit, an extra $498 per two batteries. And remember, you probably need this dual charger with that. Per two batteries, you're gonna spend a total of $618 to run this lawnmower. It's not including tax, by the way. Now, I don't know about you, but that is crazy. So far, to have four batteries and two chargers and a lawnmower, it is 
$1,618. All right, so let's do another set of batteries and a charger. So you're spending $1,236, not including tax, by the way, for an additional four batteries and two chargers on top of the $1,000 for the kit. So that is a total of $2,236 for six batteries, three chargers, and a lawnmower. Now, I don't know about you, but that is the price of a riding lawnmower. So this lawnmower, in my opinion, is absolutely crazy. So I'm wondering, will this lawnmower work when it is absolutely pouring rain outside? I'm not talking about drizzling. I'm talking about pouring rain. R rain does not stop landscapers from working. They, they, they work in the rain. I see it every time I'm at work during spring, summer, and fall. And they just don't work in the rain. They leave their equipment out in the rain while it's raining. If they don't need this uh, certain tool, they don't bring it back to the trailer. They just let it sit as is in the rain. Are you able to leave this lawnmower sitting in the rain for, a few, for eight hours, or do you need to actually put this back in the trailer and have this covered so rain doesn't get to it? That's two things I want to know. So I'm hoping that YouTube, I'm hoping that some channels will actually test that out. Those are the questions that I'm wondering. Oh, you are not going to find out on this channel. I'm hoping other channels will. The YouTubers that already have this lawnmower want to see a regular battery used in these lawnmowers and see what happens. If it even runs, if it actually ruins the motor, if it doesn't ruin the motor and it does run, how long does it run for? One more time for six, for six batteries, three chargers and the lawnmower, it is $2,236. It's not including tax, by the way. And like I said, that is the price of a riding lawnmower. So like I said, based on price and how long a professional landscaper would actually use this mower per property, this is not efficient in price at all. So this lawnmower is for the nooks and crannies that the riding lawnmower isn't safe for or it can't reach. So this lawnmower is not going to run eight hours a day. You could go for cheaper options like the Makita, the DeWalt, even the Ryobi. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.